Yeah, g'day scrappers. Thought I'd uh, finally do a complete CRT scrap out um, from start to finish, uh, scrapping it all out, including uh, stripping the degaussing cable, the whole lot, and going for gold recovery if there's anything in there and seeing what we get. Um, so uh, the TV that I've uh, chosen to do this is a, my probably my favourite CRT TV to scrap. Um, I think it's the best value TV to scrap. It's the Sony Triniton, um, reasonably large one. This one's uh, about a 28 inch, I, uh, I think, uh, or 28 centimeter. I mean, um, so yeah, I'm going to um, slowly um, go through the whole lot from start to finish, and um, and uh, just seeing what we get out of it and how how I go about it. Uh, so the first thing, you know, obviously is put it on its, put it down on its front, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, undo the screws and slowly get into it. Okay, well let's uh, get cracking and uh, get this cover off. All right, so here we go. Um, usually the first thing most people do and I do is uh, cut the uh, the cord to the to the flyback transformer and then back down to the tube okay so we just get this this cord out here but um, the thing I um, firstly I suppose I've got to mention is um, the discharging of a TV um, <laughs> uh, it's to tell you the truth, discharging of new uh, or late model CRTs, it's a myth. That only, um, you know, was applicable with the old, really old CRTs, say 20 years old or so. Um, modern CRTs, say 10 or 15 years old, um, they've all got a discharging system inside inside the cap on the tube so um, they automatically discharge after about three minutes when you turn the power off okay so there's there's this um, you know talk about discharging of TVs because they're going to shock you um, it's it's not true and um, I've you know I know heaps of people that scrap TVs on the spot out in the street um, I've over the last three years I've probably scrapped I'd say about 4,000 CRTs never come across any problems um, but you know if you're still worried about um, you know any residual power inside a CRT well all you do is just don't scrap them on the spot if uh, you know in case they've been plugged in recently so what I used to do before I learnt about it was I used to put them in line and sort of like um, you know put them at the back of the line and then do them after about a week that I brought them in to you know like within a week there's even the old ones in a week there is guaranteed there's no power going to be in there well, well it's never guaranteed but with the modern ones you know they have a discharging unit like this Sony has a discharging unit on the back of the cap so about three minutes after it's been turned off the discharging units um, activated and there's no power and even that power it's not a big enough power to to uh, kill you it gives you a it might give you a little shock uh, there's just not enough power in in it but um, like I said I've done thousands and thousands of CRT TVs I used to do a lot on the street on the spot never had a problem even with the old ones so but um, yeah so uh, yeah don't don't forget about that um, that rubbish that that more sort of um, applies to TV repairmen that walk into your lounge room they turn off your TV they go into the back of it and start looking into it well because they've just turned the power off they're going to want to discharge the unit um, just to make sure but you know when you're picking them up off the street they've been probably lying around for a few days on the street you might um, you know and you know like I said they discharge themselves after a few minutes so anyway um, that's enough of that now you know so here we go we got a, a nice CRT unit we've got a really nice degaussing cable system here um, there's two two pieces of degaussing cable there's also another little one here um, 
up the top here we've got the uh, the board on top of the yoke with this Sony there's a secondary board so basically all I do is just basically start at the top and just cut my way through just remove the wires these ones plugged in cut cut any wires that need to be and and we've got our first item it's just a CRT you know yoke board there's no real value on this there's a little bit of wire here and and then we've got a little bit of aluminium on this heat sink and nothing else is really of value um, on this thing so we can just throw this as a power board okay then the second stage just a matter of uh, undoing all the cables and uh, loosening off the yoke and just get the mostly they've got two two yoke clamps so under them usually one of these yoke clamps will always be stainless steel and even uh, the screw can be stainless steel so um, if you collect stainless steel you can just put a magnet onto it uh, there's a second uh, board for from the yoke and in in this case being a Sony they're a lot more involved than most CRTs so they've got some copper spools here we can take off a couple more heat sinks and then the rest is just a power board okay so we've got the got the second yoke clamp this one looks like the steel one and then we've got our yoke and uh, being a reasonably big TV in the Sony it's quite a uh, large size yoke just twist it off and just cut a couple of wires off okay so here's our first prize get this tape off okay you can see the nice copper copper running through all that it's got this degaussing cable so this this cable here is it's too, uh, too good of uh, wire to uh, throw into your insulated wire unless you um, sell uh, high grade insulated wire. <laughs> this one you should really strip. Okay. And so on the yoke, got some more copper there. Obviously the copper underneath. And uh, I'll just get this bit off. Okay, we've got some nice copper spools here and uh, some wire. So yeah, as you can see, it's uh, pretty good. You know, this is a decent weight, weighs, you know, almost, uh, you know, probably weighs two and a half pounds. Um, so decent size yoke, we'll get into this. As I said, I'm going to uh, strip the, scrap the TV completely from start to finish. So. That involves um, busting this yoke, getting all the copper out, getting these degaussing cables and stripping them, getting the copper out of this, um, getting the board out and removing any IC chips or any, any other things that are worth taking off. And so we, this is just going to be a complete CRT scrap. Okay, so we've got that. We'll just pop out the degaussing cable. wire so there we've got some nice thick degaussing cable uh, it's heavy so it's copper wire they're usually copper wire you know probably one in f you know 50 TVs you you'll find that it's aluminium wire you can see it's all nice copper um, you just need to basically hold it if it's aluminium it'll weigh light, light as a feather so copper are always nice and heavy um, so we'll strip this and we'll get the copper out of that as well. And there's another one at the back. So I'll go around the back and get the board out. Okay. So 
that's a you know quite a nice board um, well there's there's you know the you got your main board here and you know it's a side board a few side boards here but uh, the main board will have you know our transformers and uh, and a few little things to take off um, and the sideboard here we've got a, we've got um, some IC chips that we can take off and around the around the complete side here we've got a nice copper spool under there another one here to uh, remove so there's going to be some good bits so I'll just finish taking everything else out of this TV and uh, and I'll get to it okay uh, one more degaussing cut it out So that's our second degaussing cable. We'll strip that. Bit of wire. Okay. Now, this wire here, it's uh, it you know it comes in um, different sizes and it runs around your tube. It's like a uh, earthing wire, I suppose, something like that. But it's um, this is braided copper wire. It's um, it's actually tinned copper, and so um, don't don't throw it out as just steel or think it's aluminium because it's not magnetic. <coughs> it's actually tinned copper, and there is a grade for tinned copper when you uh, go to the scrapyard. Um, tinned copper is usually around the burnt copper price. It's around that kind of price there, but uh, keep it separate. I stack it. I got a big couple big buckets full, and just I just build it up, and uh, I'll keep this for a rainy day when I want to sell it. But uh, so that's tin to copper. So don't 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 think it's anything else but copper. So really, you know, adds up. They're quite heavy, and when you're doing hundreds of TVs over time you fill up a few buckets of this and you've got some decent cash flow there all right so that's just about it so nice and quick um sometimes tvs are you know a little bit more involved they've got more stuff to take out or more screws but you know sony are a pretty good system um and then i got some speakers under here can remove the speakers uh it's only um speakers you know, to me, I, I just throw speakers into um, scrap steel, but uh, I take them out just to uh, reduce the weight of the TV overall. So I, because I'll send this TV to the recycling center, I'll put the cover back on, and uh, and so I'll try and make it as light as possible first. So I'll get get all the speakers out. And so in this one, it's like a double kind of speaker system, uh, like a little tweeter or something, and and uh, the speaker. So I'll just clean off the wires and throw the rest into scrap steel. Just a little bit extra steel. Get this side off. Now, if I was scrapping the TV out in the street, I wouldn't bother taking out the, the speakers. Uh, just because uh, it's just not, wouldn't be worth the time. Just try and do it as quick as possible. All right, so that's it. Nice and quick, nice and easy. Um, if you were trying to do this quickly, um, you can scrap a TV, you know, in, in just a couple of minutes if you really, you know, really want to go for it. And now all I do is, now I've just got the tube right and this has got to go to recycling so I'll just put on the cover okay
put a couple of screws in it and we can set it off. Okay. Now, because it's a little bit bigger TV, I, I put a couple more screws in than I normally would. Normally, smaller TV or one that's not as heavy, you know, you can get away with just putting one screw in each corner, but I, I like to at least put the two at the, the front here and one at the back just so when I pick it up, the cover's nice and strong. All right, so that's it. We've scrapped it. Now, um, I'll get rid of this TV. I'll send this one off to recycling with the rest of the empties I've got. And then we'll get down to uh, the business side of it and uh, get the copper out, see what we can get off the circuit board and, and see how we go. Okay, so just a quick rundown of what we've got so far. So we've got some insulated uh, wire here. Uh, we've got the, uh, the uh, tinned copper. Uh, one of them is going to be stainless steel. We've got three little boards and the main boards, uh, the speakers, which are just going to go for scrap metal. So, speakers, I just use the empty PC towers, fill them up. Uh, we've got the degaussing cable, uh, sorry, the, uh, the, the copper yoke, and we'll smash that up. And we've got the degaussing cables and we'll strip them and get the copper out of them too so that's what we got so far out of that tv now uh, on the um, board there's quite a lot because it's a sony there's a few extras like you got this one from the side that i showed you the copper spools um, this one here there's nothing much on this one so i can probably just throw this into scrap steel because there's, uh, it doesn't even go as a power board, there's no value in it. Uh, we've got this sort of like a slot card, a, a lot of CRTs will have slot cards. Um, this one's just a brown one, but sometimes they'll be green both sides and they can go as like a, a mid-grade kind of board. And also where they slot into, sometimes they can be gold pins, but in this case they're not. So this card here has really got nothing on it. Again, no no real value. Um, there's just uh, it's got two little IC chips we can take off. So I'll, I'll keep this aside and remove those IC chips. And then just a, another little power board on this side. Not much on it. There's a little transformer, and uh, yeah, that's about it there. But uh, so yeah, I'll what I'll do is I'll clean up this board and see what we can get off it and then we'll be just about done okay so i'm going to um just scrap out some of these boards just to uh give you a, an idea on on what i pick off the boards from the crt um first i'll start with this board that was on the start on the side of the the main board basically this copper spool here and that large copper spool there so with these break them off, break off the ferrite, scrap steel, okay, and so just use the multi-grips and I'll just sort of break it off, give it a bit of a break, crumble it up, and and I'll, and I'll unwind these copper wires. And this is, you know, nice, shiny, bright copper wire. So that's the first one. And then, and then this one, just sort of get it off. Snip, snip. Okay, so the rest of this, there's nothing in here. These boxes, they're only like, there's like a little um, transformer or something in there. They're not the like the black ones. We'll, we'll have a, just make sure. Yeah, these ones have just got like a, kind of like a little, almost like a battery or something. So this just goes to scrap steel here. Yeah. No real value there. So we've got the two nice copper spools. Take out the ferrite out of the center. 
it's just goes as steel and so yeah uh, usually I'll just th put a screwdriver inside and just wind it out nice and easy this is the sort of thing you do in downtime so all that's left is uh, just a uh, it's this is just a plastic spool so it's very light so most of the weight in that spool was in copper so some people just throw them into you know like transformers and motors um, but you're really not getting your value because um, you know that's quite a decent whack of copper for um, for just one spool because yeah because this is plastic there's no weight um, you're, you're pretty much giving it all away now because this this copper is um, it's slightly lacquered you might not see it but there's also the glue that's stuck on it and because of that it's not milberry copper this is you know this goes with burnt copper or number two copper copper wire so but it's still good enough there's not much loss um, so yeah and I'll do the same with this this uh, little spool here um, that's that's number one this one here that goes on top of the yoke um, there's really nothing on here of value all of these things are you know all resistors all different types you know uh, don't confuse them with tantalum capacitors they're not they're not even capacitors they're all resistors um, just this little piece of aluminium here okay and usually on the ends they got a little bit of steel the steel bracket so just sort of peel them off how you can there's one okay so that's just clean aluminium and it's just um, it's not extruded this is just um, plate aluminium um, and the way you can tell is because it's, it's it was a flat plate of aluminium and it was just bent over whereas extruded it would be um, square so yeah that's just a little piece of aluminium and probably the last thing is uh, these transistors okay that mount onto the aluminium heatsink now um, apart from the, the this backing is like plastic and there's nothing really in it but this uh, silvery part here uh, usually it's it's copper it's like a tinned copper and if you use you can take it off and if you cut into it you might see that um, it's actually a, a, a coppery color now this one you know it, uh, doesn't look like there's a whole heap of copper in this particular one but um, yeah so at best you know you could remove this plastic if you can somehow I mean this is very fiddly and it's quite low value work but this plate is uh, like a, a aluminium coated copper or it can be tinned copper um, at best this would go as like an irony copper or dirty copper same as you would have irony aluminium or irony brass this one is uh, irony copper um, so uh, it's just up to you know your scrapyard whether they buy these transistors as irony copper if not um, maybe um, try and crush these uh, plastic parts off and process it yourself melt it down and um, make sort of like copper ingots um, sort of like it'd still be dirty copper so uh, yeah um, it's really it's really up to you what you want to do with these a lot of people just leave these on the boards don't worry about them um, but if you um, really wanted to get all the value out of your boards then yeah you can take these off and maybe your yard will recognize these as irony copper and uh, just buy them complete like that that would be the best way to sell them uh, the less work and so the rest of this would just go there's no IC chips so we're just going to throw this into scrap steel and keep this now uh, the other one one well this is just completely blank virtually there's no gold pins in there 
Uh, there's, they're just uh, resistors. Uh, so we've just got two little flat packs here. So we can, we can take off these flat packs. Or, sorry, IC chips. Okay, these are so thin and small that uh, pretty hard to get off com nice and cleanly. But, uh, you know, all I can see is a little bit of, um, you know, a bit of coppery. Not sure if, you know, maybe on the other side there could be gold. So you just put these with your little IC chips. So, there we go. Just a little IC chip. And the rest is just, um, again, scrap steel. Or throw it in with um, power boards if you like. There's no real value on that. Um, now the, the other board, just two copper spools. You just sort of break these off. Um, and then it's, it's up to you. These ones are quite f fiddly to pull apart. So um, if you didn't have much time, you know, it depends on how much you're scrapping. Uh, for me, I scrap, you know, I've got a lot of stuff to scrap, so I don't really have time to unwind all these copper things, so I'll just throw this in with transformers, or motors and transformers. Um, here they go together, but, um, you know, they are worth pulling apart if you've got time and um, undoing all the copper winding and uh, throw the rest in steel. Same as this one here. This one's a... A bit easier to um, process if you just break the ends they're just plastic and you get yourself a bit of burnt copper number two copper if you like so yeah so just get rid of this plastic so there'll be two two bits of copper there so that's okay the rest of this again nothing on it you might as well just throw it in with shred steel and the last little one was this one and again we've got um, a couple of aluminium heat sinks here um, and if you get yourself a pair of these multi grips right try and get ones so these with the wider um, mouths because if they're really thin they're, they're not very good for ripping off transformers and motors and stuff so try and get the wide mouth ones um, and so basically just clean off this uh, rubbish off the, the heat sink there's a couple of little pins they're, they're like steel pins you pull them out Usually they came out, come out cleanly, otherwise just sort of clean them up to the end. But so this is extruded aluminium, whereas the one previously, that's just regular aluminium, that's extruded. As you can see, that's, it's, it's been pushed through an extrusion sort of system. So they go different, these are worth a little bit more. Okay, so we take off the the heat sinks and the other, the other thing is these copper spools here so they're just on little pieces of ferrite little copper windings they just sort of slide off the ferrite that goes in scrap steel um, and then you can just unwind these pieces of copper same with the other side so very easy I'm sure you've already you know busted open a lot of um, you know scrapped out a lot of boards but uh, get to the mo more of the main sort of board and the first part here um, I got very little on it um, apart from this this little copper spool here All right uh, because it's on ferrite you can just leave this and throw this in with your uh, motors and transformers or if you like, you can just unwind the copper off it. And, and then nothing else here aside from, sometimes the pins can be gold pins, but on this case, they're not, um, except for these little, um, little switches, tactile switches. 
um, and they're they're all got a little bit of silver so if you collect them I collect them and they easily just pop off nice and easy if I don't lose them and that's it and so we've got some nice little tactile switches inside there will be a little bit of silver I've done a video on them already so check that one out and the rest well you can throw this in as a power board if you like you might get some cash for it if not you know some people just throw them in as scrap steel it's up to you I'll probably put this as a power board and then the two main boards um, firstly this one here we're gonna you know take off this large heat sink Okay, and we'll clean this up, clean off all this rubbish, remove the steel plates on each side. Okay, so that's just steel, and then the other side, get it off. Okay. So that's just another piece of um, extruded aluminium and then um, you know just little things like another spool, We've got another copper transistor, irony copper and, and then what we got is these IC chips and so um, usually I depopulate with an air hammer but these ones sometimes can be easy enough to you just twist them off just twist it off and throw that in with your IC chips um, even the bigger ones uh, sometimes you can if you just get like a razor blade uh, like a Stanley knife and you you cut along one, one side and then you'll be able to just break it off uh, we'll see if I can get this off just just with the, probably not, no, it's going to be a bit hard, do it like this but it's, it's not going to be very good because you don't, you don't want the circuit board on with them, really you just want the clean IC chip on its own, um, so if you can get rid of this circuit board stuff, there we go. So um, yeah, IC chips on CRT TVs can have um, can be better than um, some people think. Sometimes they're not very good. Um, in this case, well, well, we'll have a little look. We'll just sort of break it, go to the middle. So in the in the centre there, there's a little plate, and that'll give us a, an indication whether there's much in this or not. Now in this one. I, can't really see a lot of any you know gold that stands out um, even the wiring inside there's really nothing in this one sometimes they can be they can really stand out and you can see the gold pretty easily sometimes you know it could be it could be silver in there um, but uh, yeah it's pretty hit and miss so you know but they're definitely worth going for because you know the IC chips you just build them up so there's a couple more IC chips we want to get out of that and then we've got the main board so it's the same kind of deal just basically taking off like the aluminium heat sinks these nice big ones um, clean off these metal tabs okay so you've got a nice bit of sheet aluminium here you know quite heavy again these uh, these transistors you know up to you like I said a lot of people just leave these transistors on um, in this case it's uh, you know it's just a it's all encased there might not even be metal in there it could be just ferrite and and stuff but uh, I don't know so inside there we can We've got a bit of metal in there. 
So yeah, so to, in order to sell these, you really got to have a scrapyard that understands what they are. Some people do understand what they are and they buy them. Um, other people, some people buy them because no one else really understands what they are and they don't realize that there's copper. Um, you know, like these ones here, these are definitely a, a tinned copper, usually tinned copper, sometimes they can be aluminium coated copper. Um, but yeah, if, you, if people, you know, a scrapyard knows what they are, then they'll probably pay you dirty copper for it. Um, these transformers here, they're flyback transformers. Now, don't get too excited with these. A lot of scrapyards won't accept these as transformers because there's really very little in there, um, not much at all. So I usually leave these on the boards because there's no copper and my, my scrapyard doesn't accept them. Um, sometimes going for the aluminium, you're gonna break up the board, that's fine. Um, so obviously, is it, these um, aluminium capacitors aren't really worth anything. Um, there's another big spool we can take. So we can take another, got a nice, two nice spools of uh, copper here that we can um, process. We can grab rather than, you know, these, these ones are probably the best ones as far as value because they're not worth selling as transformers. Whereas this big transformer, usually the main transformer, they're, they usually don't have much copper inside them because they're, they're sort of wound with sticky tape. And yeah, these are, if you can keep them complete, just like that, keep it whole, you're better off selling this as a transformer because it's, they're very heavy. But uh, as I said, the, the copper in there is only very light and it's mostly sticky tape and copper. But what before I do, if you haven't broken this ferrite, what I always do is before I throw this in with the transformers, I peel off this copper ribbon. Okay, so now I can throw this in as transformers and this piece of copper I can put with burnt copper, number two copper. Um, and you know it's it's not a lot but it adds up and it's a bit of copper there okay and so this can now go into just into transformers and um, you probably get better value just as a transformer and uh, the only other thing off these boards well there's a lot of little little um, little spools little transformers like over here you got this spool here um, this one here has copper in it, there's a transformer, there's another spool, there's a transformer. So there's a lot of bits that have got copper, like this, this blue one here. Um, usually when they've got a, a ridged top, sort of like a double top. Um, so this one here, you can see it's sort of like curved. If you, this part here on top is ferrite, if you just, if you just cut off the top, snip off the ferrite bit, throw that in the steel, and then you can pull out your copper out of here. And this is nice, clean number one copper, Milbury copper. If you just keep pulling it out, a bit more in there. But for that little spool, you'll see that, you, you know, as you can see, there's, there's quite a bit of number one copper here, just in that little spool. Okay, we've got other, you know, a large one. Hey, you can take off that copper if you like. If you don't have time, because it's a heavy one, you can throw this in with transformers. You'll probably get similar value anyway. Um, get off this. Uh, there's another transformer here. This black one. Now this one's like a, a, a sealed unit, so keep this as it is, just throw this in with transformers and motors. This, this orange one, again, because it's got a ridged on the side, it's, it's, you know, it's not even, it should have uh, copper in it. If 
we can just get off this top part. Yeah. We can get some sort of tool for it. Okay. All right. So we just have to break off that bit of ferrite off the top of it. And you can see it's loaded with copper. And you can just pull this copper out pretty easily. And you get the picture. And so this one here, this one isn't bright and shiny, so this is going to go as number two copper. You know, but they're everywhere, you know, and uh, you've got little transformers all over it. Being a Sony, you know, it's... Um, so this transformer here, it's up to you. If you've got time to pull out that bit of copper out of that, go for it. Otherwise, because it's heavy, you can just sell it as a transformer, I suppose. Um, and then, uh, okay, so over here, we've got these two little boxes that have got little copper spools in there. And uh, they've got... Uh, also got little silver contacts. They usually just crush open. Okay. So there's a nice piece of copper there. You just break off the top again. Okay, and you got some nice copper. Uh, to peel off it's you know it's time consuming but like I said this is the sort of thing you do downtime when um, you can't be bothered scrapping a lot of you know big stuff heavy stuff you want to give your back a bit of a rest you know you just sit down and just fiddle around with these copper spools and stuff but um, also you've got these pieces of copper here and this one's brass and if you open this up those little contacts there that's silver so you got silver contact there and a silver contact there so um, if you remember those little switches the tactile switches right I cut these off and I just throw these in with the um, silver tactile switches to process for silver one day so there's a little contact that's silver and the rest is copper okay and the other side okay so you got two little pieces of silver there bit of copper this one's brass and there's the copper wire that we took off so that was with these little boxes here in this case there's two of them well this one came off a lot easier how it should okay so that's another one so we've got the copper bit of brass copper open that up and you got silver and silver okay so well worth it all right and uh, there should be some oscillators here or actually some crystals you know um, if I can find them yeah, do -do 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 -do. just looking around the board surely oh yeah okay over this side we've got two crystals right that also contain silver and so I stack these just fill up a bucket with them so these are crystals and the the square ones the flat mounted ones they're crystal oscillators but these ones are crystals but they also have silver in them so in this case there was two some CRT boards you can get four five six crystals on one board so keep that in mind got this other slot card here normally there are a covered little like a little thing and in there you've got another IC chip we want to take out okay nothing under there so we want to get this IC sometimes also there's a little crystal in there as well not this time okay um, under this plate here there'll be a IC chip so we want to get that 
how if we can. I don't know why they mount these under these steel things, but that's what they do. Protect it somehow. We just want to pry it off as best we can. Give you a little look. Oh. Yeah, sometimes you can just go over and over these boards and you, you keep looking at it and you always find something new. Something different that you didn't notice that was on there. Okay. So just a bit of steel. Okay, so we've got a nice IC chip under here. And another one here. And also, here's that thing that I was talking about. Um, so this is another version. It's got the IC chip in there. Well, this one here also should have IC chip in here. So it's only one sided. The other side usually is a blank board. So we just peel that off nice and easy. Have a look inside. Okay, so there's no IC chip in this that I can see, but there's a crystal there. Oh. Yeah, so crystal here and a crystal here. So two crystals um, on this one here, where usually there's, there'll only, usually only be one if there is one. Okay. So we've got another two crystals here. And the other ones that we've got off the board, the bigger ones. So, but they all, they're all the same kind of thing. So just take them off and keep going. So there's nothing else in there. We can look on the other side just in case Sony have done something different. Okay. All right, so there's, break that off. Okay, so on this side, we've got, you know, four, well, three IC chips and one flat pack. Flat pack being four-sided, IC chips being two-sided pins. Okay, so I'll just throw this in with um, boards to be depopulated. I'll use the air hammer and just skim these, pop these off, and then throw the rest in, um, in scrap steel. All right, so we're really starting to make a mess of this board. Um, there's still stuff on here to uh, take off. A couple of little things. Another transformer here. Another one of these sealed units. Just a little transformer, throw that in with your transformers. And yeah, a little bit more aluminium. Um, but mostly we want to get these little IC chips. Or even this little small one here, nice and easy. IC chip. And we want to get these two IC chips here. All right. Um, so next I'm just going to uh, bust open this uh, yoke and see what we get out of that. Um, this one being, you know, this one um, you can the uh, ferrite is exposed these are a little bit you don't really have to crush this ferrite to get to it i usually take these ones off and then just break the rest of it if i can't get it open so i just knock off these little pins little clips and then just see if i can get it off without having to break it there you go so the ferrite just comes off in one piece nice and easy and there's our copper. We've got another piece of ferrite here. It's just got a bit of glue on each side. We're just nice and easy. So it saved us making, um, you know, more of a mess when we smash, you know, when smash it up. Uh, now they're nice and complete. Magnetic. Throw this in with scrap steel. And that leaves us with the nice, nice uh, copper. There's four pieces of uh, copper in there. And we've got some copper running through there. So now I'll probably just smash this up to quicker or, well, since we're here, we might as well just uh, do it the civilized way. 
So we break these little clips off. See if we can um, we can get it off. Sticky tape. Oh, she can. Hmm. Okay. All right. They should just pop out. There's one. Look at that. Clean a bit of tape off. And so this, you can throw it in with your burnt copper. Number two copper. Second one. There we go. Take off a bit of this glue. And there you go. Two nice pieces of copper. Beautiful. Number two copper. You know, there's almost a pound there. <laughs> Um, nice big one. Let's break off the rest of this. I'm going to straighten up the camera. Clips. There we go. Look at that. Nice and easy. And two very large pieces of copper. Now one, two, three, four pieces. A bit of plastic. So really nice. From that copper yoke. So we you know we got definitely got over a pound here. Probably got to about a pound and a half copper there. Also um, where the yoke sort of sits. Sometimes with these ones where you see these plastic things, if you open them off, you'll get brass as well. Okay? So every second one, look, that, that's brass. Another one here. There's usually two of them. Okay, so these, these little pieces, they're very thin, they're not much. But they're brass, so throw these in for brass. This is just plastic, but yeah, so they don't come in all CRTs, but in the better brands, you'll get brass. So nice. And then finally, you got these little copper spools, so we can unwind the copper out of that. That's just plastic. So we've got four nice copper spools. Nice and easy to unwind the copper. And um, yeah. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of copper. So we've got these, we've got four pieces of the yoke. Um, you know, we've still got um, some other wires, some nice clean copper. Um, still got the spools few spools to do, you know, bit of copper there, or a spool, so there's quite a lot of copper bits um, just on one TV, you know, uh, you know we've got two pounds of copper here just probably, and we haven't even started on the degaussing cables yet. So I'm just going to have a um, a bit of a clean up here, and then I'll, I'll well we'll just have you know I've showed you a bit of the good degaussing cable, but I probably won't bother stripping it right down. But um, as you can see, it's you know these are quite easy to strip. You just uh, you know you can run a knife along, and just skim it with a knife, and just peel it out, but. Um, you know, you're going to have a lot of copper there too.